Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a typography design like this in Canva. I'm going to show you everything step by step, so let's jump right in. Go to Canva and then let's go to custom size. We are going to use 920 by 1080 pixels, so you can use this presentation design format. Then go to upload. Over here, you can upload your images right here. Or upload and then upload your images. I'm going to use banana. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my banana to my design and then just go ahead and then resize it. Okay, I'm okay with this. So go down and then go to apps and then search for open search for typecraft. So we are using this a typecraft. So open that. So this is what I'm going to use. Open this. And then type your text right here. The text you want to use, just type it there. I want to use banana, so I'm going to type that. And then for the font, just select any font of your choice. I'm going to use Anton. So this is the font I want to use for my own. So I'll select that. And then when you go down here, what we're going to do is that we can actually start resizing this, how we want our text to display. So you can actually move this around and then just play alongside this. Just click on add to design. Then you can actually align this on top whilst you work so you can just play with this just resize it any way you want and then you can click on update just to see how this is going to be placed on your design so you can play along and then see how this is going to do so i'm just going to do that and then we can continue you can actually resize this as well so if you resize it should be getting something like this i can move that down a bit so you can keep updating until you get exactly what you want if it's too much at the top you can actually move it down just like that so this should be okay, so this is actually what i'm going to get so if you are cool with whatever you have you can actually go back here and then i'm going to change the color to white change the color to white so go ahead and then change the color to white and i'm going to update that so you're going to give me something like this now go back and then duplicate this let's duplicate our page so let's duplicate our page like this and then this is what we're going to do i'm going to select the text that's the typographic text and then press ctrl c to copy it and then i can actually go ahead and then delete it now we want to add a shape so go back to element and then you can search for shape i just want to use this rectangular shape so just select that or you can press the r key on your keyboard just to add a shape to your screen like this and then change the color to black so i'm going to change the background color to black and then i'm going to paste my text on this so this is my text over here i'm going to paste it on top and then i want to download this we'll upload this back so just go to share and go to download and then make sure you download this as a png file so go ahead and download this as a png file we want only the second page so just go ahead and deselect the first page and then click on done and then you can click on download so after downloading this all you need to do is to upload this back upload this back to canva just as i'm doing and then you can actually delete this page you don't we don't actually need this page so just delete this page and we want to work with the first page now delete the typo the text on top and then we want only the banana just go ahead and add this text like that just add it and then what we're going to do next is that go to bg remover you can go to edit and then you can use the background remover there's a short form over here so any of them should work for you so i'm just going to remove the background and then i should be getting something like this so you can actually go ahead and resize it and then you can reposition this and then you get your perfect shape should be getting something like this so just play along and then you should get something amazing like this now go back to our edit option and go under effect and then select on this the do tool just select that and then let's use the cherry so click on this and then for the shadow let's change the color to white change the color to white and then also for the highlights let's change the color to white as well so it's going to give you something like this okay so I'm actually going to make sure this is exactly white so make sure your shadow is completely white so just make sure you align it just position it and then you should be getting something like this okay so just do 
in this way and then you should be getting something like this you can also move it up a bit so just resize it a bit and then you should be getting something like this so basically it's very easy to create something like this you can actually move it up a bit and then just resize it in just resize this in if it's too big just go ahead and then work on that so when you play along with this you just have to just resize it a bit and then you should be getting something like this so you're going to give you something like this and this is what we're going to download as an image so just going to give you typographical effects and then you can go ahead and then download this as image and just go to download and then you can download this as a jpeg file I'm just going to download this as a jpeg file it's totally going to be the final way we've done thank you so much for watching this short tutorial remember to subscribe for more videos like this like come away again bye bye